Close to 600 barrels of crude oil leaked into Salt Creek in Marietta after a pipeline sprung a leak about 12 days ago. According to the EPA, the leak was discovered by an employee with JP Energy, which owns the pipeline. News 12's Amy Jensen is live in the Ardmore studio now with the details. Amy. Maureen and Dan, the EPA says right now the oil is not affecting drinking water in the area, and they have no reason to believe that the oil will make it to Lake Texoma. Local authorities won't let us or anyone else near the leak unless they are part of the cleanup effort. But according to the pipe's owners, JP Energy, they were prepared. We immediately shut down flow, and that way it stops the release. And then we respond and, and have local responders assist us in beginning to contain and clean up the oil. Cryac says they don't know how the leak happened, but they contained it quickly. More than 600 barrels of oil leaked into Salt Creek and Marietta. If you're wondering what that looks like, Take a 16.9 ounce bottle of water and fill it up. 190,764 times. EPA spokesperson Jenna Durant says the oil leaked out of the pipe and then traveled about a mile into Salt Creek, about two and a half miles from Lake Texoma. More than 70 people have spent the last 12 days cleaning up. The oil has been uh, contained. There are several dams that have been set up in the creek. Um, so, uh, despite some uh, bad rainfall on the first night after the spill, the oil has been contained in the creek, and at this point, it does not appear to uh, be a threat to Lake Texoma. The companies have laid out nine dams throughout the creek where the oil leaked, and the dams are made from a special material to absorb the oil. The last dam is about two and a half miles away from the lake, but there's there's no oil at that point. The last few dams are um, are purely precautionary. Now, two people live nearby. Unfortunately, their home was not affected by the spill. Durant says that an official from the State Office of Fish and Wildlife assessed the scene, and so far, no animals, insects, fish, or birds have been affected by the oil spill. I'm live in the Ardmore studio, Amy Jensen, News 12.